that 20th century logo and it opened with one of my favourite Queen songs. It was holding my heart and it was grasping it tightly. Not gonna lie, feeling a little bit emotional after that. But then you realise that the film is never going to be as good as the casting and the performances. I have to say there's some really nice editing moments in this film. There's a really special moment with a chicken. But I don't know who to credit. Do I credit Brian Singer or do I credit Dexter Fletcher? Who knows? It was very mixed bag in the sense of some of the editing was absolutely just sublime and then some of the editing was just pretty atrocious and uh, not too sure what they were trying to achieve. I like to think the bits I liked were from Dexter Fletcher but I'm not biased one bit. So moving on from editing and chickens, performances absolutely phenomenal. The casting on point, Roger, Brian, they just look the part. I always forget about John. Sorry, John. Oh, poor John. I wonder if other people always forget about John. John is Tim from Jurassic Park. He is Tim from Jurassic Park. I especially loved Brian though. Ah, oh, they'd got Brian made down to a T. And special mention goes to Mike Myers. You had me fooled. I genuinely thought that was Eddie Marsden. I honestly thought I was watching Eddie Marsden. Who would have thought Mike Myers could do a spot on Northern accent the way he does? And high five. I'm giving you a high five, Mike Myers. And to the scriptwriter for that wonderful Wayne's World reference. I was the only person that laughed out loud in the cinema. But it was gold. Dale! Dale! Rami Malik. Oh, too much emotion going on right now. Oh my God, Rami Malek, your sweat, blood and tears went into this performance. Wow, just wow. I really do hope he gets a nomination for this film, but I don't think it's gonna happen because the film wasn't good enough, unfortunately, and I think it's gonna get missed and it's gonna make me very angry because his performance, when he was performing on stage, he was Freddy. I saw nobody else. You know, this actor, you can imitate all you want and he had all the moves down, he had the look down and everything, but I watched Rami Malek and I generally believed that he believed that he was Freddie Mercury and oh my god, I was in tears, in tears by the end, absolutely emotion just flying everywhere. He he really brought Freddie alive. He really, really did. This is coming from a Queen fan uh, watching that film. I just want to go up and hug and kiss Rami Malek because I think he did a respectful job. I think he, the dedication that he put into that performance was just wonderful. The film isn't perfect, but Rami Malek is absolutely perfect in this film. I have no negative criticism for him. He just blew me away and I'm just thinking back to the film and <laughs> I just feel like I'm gonna cry right here because uh, like I said, you watch that film and you sit there and you just think, Freddy's alive again. Find me somebody to come and 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 all we hear is subscribe gaga subscribe gaga we will we will like you yeah guys so if you like this video please do subscribe for more movie reviews do like the video and please comment in the box below your thoughts and feelings on bohemian rhapsody i'm going slightly mad it finally happened, 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 it finally happened, oh yes.